Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching this job video today. I created this. Uh, this is not exactly anything realistic effect or anything, but uh, I will show you the basic parameters of flip fluid in UE5 Niagara. So you can make water like like this blood kind of effect using that. So I'll just cover some basic parameters so you can play with that. So let's start this tutorial. And if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it. If you like this video like share and comment and let's start this video first of all subscribe my youtube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification So as you can see this blood kind of thing is 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 falling from this character see looks good but this is not high res simulation you can make it high res if you have a good uh, configuration system but i'll show you how to can do that so this is the already created effect here you can see but i will create it again so let's say you have uh, let me browse this character first because I will take a new level and then I'll drag this character into the viewport okay and then in here if I'll search my flip fluid flip r and I'll create a new folder and test and And here I will create a Niagara and you should turn on the plugin first if you starting it first time if you are doing first time turn this on restart engine right click Niagara instead of this take the new system from the template or behavior and here you have lots of lots of things and in here in the water in the 3d liquid I'll use this first one grid 3d flip house and just click on that and just open this so in this one we have this pouring container uh, fluid simulation and we have two emitters in this one it has this form we don't really require that so i will just turn this off in this one we have this pouring thing and if you want to uh, set uh, if you want to uh, set the boundaries so first of all in the user you can turn the boundaries on and then in here in the summary it will go down it has which side should open so like open the upside is open that's why the pouring is from the upside you can also left right and front the uh, front side you can open so this liquid will not fill in this container so i will just open the right side so you can see the fluid will go to the right side see it's cutting from here and you can do that from all these sides and back so it will not fill now it will just fall on the ground and collide but it will not fill let it compile okay and then in here if you open this in the spawn particle we have a velocity uh, where it is so it is on x that's why it's uh, in this side you can turn this off i don't need so this liquid just falls straight to the ground then we need a character uh, like uh, originally i used the character so we need a character so this can emit from character because right now we have a sphere location you can make it like five or you can make it 500 the radius uh, from where the liquid is uh, coming up okay so you can just turn this off and instead of this you can take the static mesh location click this and you will have this thing i'll just put it here here and we need a static mesh so we can use this control b to browse this and you can use this character here okay so it will take some time but this character is also very big from your container and the size is around if i go to user parameter if i make it like 
3000 3000 and 2000 now you can see the fluid is uh, is uh, emitting from that character right so i can just directly drag this also here into the viewport and this will be your water tool coming out from the character and the basic setting first is the color so to change the color you need to change the material so if you go down in here in the mesh renderer it has a mesh and it has a material and this material is here in the plugins and i will suggest not to edit this material directly because it is uh, it will be used in every time you will take the template so once you edit it here it will be edited everywhere so I'll suggest just copy this material in any other folder like I'll copy it in the R&D copy and there's already a uh, already that so let me copy this in the common copy so now in the common we have this and we can use this material here and then we can open this material to add it so now in this material uh, let it okay we have this color so we can make this red 8.5 and opacity should be one and you can add little uh, metallic if you want you can make this color darker if you want so this is how you can change color and other material material properties like opacity you can make 0.2 or 5 or one is maximum okay so this is how you can change the color then the next thing is in here if you'll go into the user parameter you have this show bounds once you have your area you can turn this off then this is the bound size that i just increased you will know that then there is a number cells maximum uh, if you will increase it it will be high res and you decrease it, it will be low res. Like if I make it 30, you can see let it update, it is very low res. And you can do that thing uh, altogether from one more setting. Let it uh, combine. So, in the summary, if you select here, we had this open boundaries. And if you go down to the renderer, we have these three very important options. First is the quality overall, the resolution. So if you make this resolution like uh, uh, decrease it, like you make it 0.8, it will be low assimilation. Uh, it will be faster. Okay. If you make it like two or more than that, it will be very high res. That two is just freezing my system, but you can see that it is very high res now okay see it has details i'll make it 1.5 again the second thing is as the particle size multiplier it works like if you uh, on the paint you have a particle here and here so basically the gap between them is very high so they will not merge they should merge but if you increase the size like this and this so it will start merging like that okay the the gap or the size will decrease obviously the size will decrease so the gap will be higher the gap will be higher so this will not merge together okay this will not merge together so this is the size so if you make it high like two these all will merge you can see these are trying to like connect with each other because the size is high see and if the size is very low because the size is low so they don't have sufficient space between them so they can connect see so i'll make it one then this is a smoothing so like you have lots of details here see if you want to smooth that you can increase it like if you want to make it five it will be very smooth it's taking time but maybe i'll make it two so you can see also in on two i don't play this is smalling 
so if you decrease it there will be lots of details but maybe you don't need that detail so it depends uh, it is it depends uh, what you want to create okay so i'll just make it one then you want to collide this fluid with the character like in my original one so what you have to do if you select your fx and here there is a tag name for the collision you can change also this but this is the collider you can copy control c in your character search the tag and here just paste that name and it will just start colliding cool and it's colliding and it's tripping and you got the effect you can now make this high res if you want maybe you may can make it to Will take time but it will be high res see looks cool so these are very basic parameters it has lots of other setting but maybe in the coming tutorials i will cover uh, one by one these things so basically you know how to change the color how to set the collision how to set the boundaries and the resolution the quality okay all these basic things you know now so that's it for now. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Keep learning and bye-bye.